This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Breaking news fears the coronavirus may have made it to New York City. One person is being evaluated right now at Bellevue Hospital for the highly contagious virus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Sandra Bookman. We're going to begin with the coronavirus outbreak. Just a short while ago, the New York City Department of Health said one person who traveled to mainland China exhibited symptoms of the disease and is being observed at Bellevue Hospital. And it comes as we learn Massachusetts health officials reported the state's first confirmed confirmed case, putting the number of confirmed cases in the United States at eight. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger outside the hospital in Kipps Bay with the very latest. Josh. And Joe, first of all, let's just make this perfectly clear. This is not a confirmed case. This is someone with suspicious symptoms who's been in mainland China and who tested negative for more common things like the flu. And so with a lack of a diagnosis, they are now testing this person for coronavirus. And we can show you video inside Bellevue, which gave ABC News in the last week a behind the scenes look at the isolation units that they had prepared for the eventuality. Some might say likelihood that this might actually happen. Happen. They do have practice at Bellevue, having been uh, a site uh, during the Ebola outbreak a few years ago that treated successfully and isolated successfully a patient here. There are, as we said, just eight confirmed cases right now across the country. This would be the ninth, but think about this. There are 241 at least suspected cases, people who are awaiting testing across the country, and many of them have already tested negative. Here at Bellevue, they say they are ready for anything. Our radar is always set high, so we can screen these patients, so we can stop it from infecting other people and the public. Now, meanwhile, the United States has taken dramatic steps to limit the spread of the virus from China when it comes to air travel into the U.S. They've limited to just seven airports, including JFK, the number of airports in the U.S. that will accept nonstop flights from China. Uh, and then they are screening people when they arrive. U.S. citizens who have been in the areas affected uh, by coronavirus near the city of Wuhan are being uh, required to self-isolate uh, for 14 days and also foreign nationals who've been in this area of China uh, in anywhere area of China I should say uh, are being uh not allowed into the country at all for the next uh, 14 days until they can prove uh, that they are uh, they have uh, tested negative I should say back here at Bellevue we are waiting for word from the city health department on the status of this patient it's not clear how long it'll take for this testing uh, to go through the patient we are told uh, is in stable condition and is being looked after quite well by the staff here at Bellevue